Hello friends. This is chat application in Codeigniter tutorial series, and in this part, we will discuss how to display number of unread chat message notification. In previous part, we have seen how to fetch chat messages from database, and display on web page. Now we want to display number of unread message notification at user list with user name. For this, we have go to chat view.php file, and here we have go to load chat user function. Under this function, here we have write dollar output variable, and here we have append HTML code like span ID is equal to chat notification with dynamic value of data count index dot receiver ID, it will generate dynamic ID value. Next we have make, check chat notification function. Under this, we have write user id array variable is equal to, dollar with hidden field id, hidden receiver id array with value method. It will fetch value from that hidden field and store under this user id array variable. Now, we have start write ajax request, and in first option, we have write url option, and here we have write base url function, with chat slash check chat notification, so it will send request to check chat notification method of chat controller. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method, for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we have defined which data we want send to server. So here we have define user id array variable value has been defined in this option. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have write JSON, so it will receive data in JSON data type. Lastly in Ajax request, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data dot length value is greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable value is equal to zero, count variable value is less than the value of data dot length value, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write HTML variable is equal to blank value. Next we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data count index dot total notification value is greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data count index dot user id value is not equal to receiver id variable value. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write html variable is equal to 
span tag with class is equal to notification circle, and between this tag, we have write data count index dot total notification. Below this, we have write dollar with span tag ID chat notification with data count index dot user ID with HTML method. And under this we have write HTML variable. It will display unread chat message notification. Now we have go to chat controller class. And here we have make check chat notification method. This method will received Ajax request. Under this method, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post user ID array variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar receiver ID variable is equal to dollar session user ID variable. After this, we have write dollar user ID array variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument we have write comma and in second argument we have write dollar post user id array variable this code will make array from string next we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar user id array variable as dollar sender id variable under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar sender id variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In array first key, we have write user id. And in value we have write dollar sender ID variable value. In second key, we have write total notification, and in value, we have write dollar this with chat model, with count chat notification method with two argument like dollar sender ID variable and dollar receiver ID. This method will return number of unread chat messages. Now we have go to chat model, and here we have make count chat notification method with two argument like dollar sender ID variable and dollar receiver ID variable. Under this method, we have write dollar this with database object, with where method with two argument, in first argument we have write sender id, and in second argument we have write dollar sender id variable. After this, we have write dollar this, with database object, with where method with two argument, in first argument we have write receiver id, and in second argument we have write dollar receiver id variable. Below this, we have write dollar this, with database object, with where method with two argument, in first argument we have write chat messages status, and in second argument we have write no. It will make query like where chat messages status is equal to no. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar this with database object with get method. And under this, we have write chat message table 
it will make select query and execute it. Lastly, we have write return statement with dollar $query variable with num rows method. This method will return number of rows affecting after above query execution. Now we have go to chat controller and here we have store all data in dollar $output variable. Now we want send to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method. Now we have go to chat view file and here we have go to jQuery code and in this we have go to set interval callback function and under this we have called check chat notification function. So this function will be called on every 5 seconds. So here our code is now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have login as John Martin in this chat application. Here first we have refresh page. And after this, we want to send message to Adonis Martin. So here we have click on Adonis Martin username. And then after in chat box we have write message. And then after we have click on send button. After click on send button, message been sent to Adonis Martin. Now in other browser, we have login as Adonis Martin in this chat application. And here first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page. Here in user list we can see John Martin user name. After user name here we can see one number in red circle. This is one unread chat message notification. Now we have click on John Martin user name. After click on user name. Here we can see notification has been removed. And here we can see chat message conversation. Here notification has been removed because unread chat message status has been changed. So, in this part, we have seen how to display unread chat message notification. In next part, we will discuss how to display user is online or offline.